welcome to JD's Exploring Life. Today I am going to unbox and review the most popular and preferred UPS amongst not just the IT professionals but also the gamers. Personally, most of my colleagues and friends have been using the very same UPS model for its reliability and performance. Here's our Schneider's APC BX 1100CIN model UPS that comes in a small CPU size which can recharge fast enough in just 4 to 6 hours providing 15 minutes of runtime with 1 year of warranty. And I have bought this for Rs 6750 in Amazon. I'll be leaving the link in the description box below. You can check it out. Let's just admit it. What is the most annoying thing about UPS? Yes, you got it. The beep sound. This model has quite less beeping sound as well compared to other models in the market. APC BX 1100CIN is one of the BIS safety certified models with surge protection feature also along with the battery backup so your devices can be protected from the voltage fluctuations. As you can see, these are the technical specifications, some other features, runtime details, all mentioned on the UPS unit box. I will be letting you know all these details so that you can have all the pros and cons of this UPS. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end so that you can have the full information. Let's see what we have got inside the box. The UPS unit, some safety information, user manual to help user know the best practices and also identify the condition to troubleshoot small issues. And yes, some warranty information and also quality assurance test reports. This is the main UPS unit with the matte look, good quality plastic and what I really liked about this UPS is the firm bottom which makes it easier to move back, forth and sideways. And you see even the power cord is also of reasonable and comfortable length of about 1.5 meters with a 6 amp plug at the end. Now, one main thing that I would suggest for those who are using UPS for the first time or the new users is always keep your UPS connected to the utility power and use only this power button in the front panel to switch on to supply power to your devices and when not in use you can switch off this power button as you can see the front panel is all about power button the battery saver and the status indicating LED now once you switch on this power button it goes green indicating that power is supplied from the battery to your devices and if it's red that means battery has some error Next is the battery saver. Even the battery saver also goes green while you switch it on. Now the runtime of connected devices can reduce if you switch this on. But what battery saver actually does is it makes sure that it gives the consistent runtime to your devices throughout the lifetime of the battery. In other words, this battery saver can increase the lifetime of your UPS and the status indicating LED is if it is green it means the battery is getting charged and if it's off it means the battery is fully charged but if it's red the battery has some error and it needs some replacement now the side panels are all about broad and lengthy vents to make sure that the UPS stay cool throughout the usage simultaneously. Not just the side panels, even the back panel has got another broad vent. Coming down, there are four sockets 
with battery backup and surge protection so if at all you are living in an area where you are facing lot of voltage fluctuation this ups with automatic voltage regulation not only provides the battery backup but can also protect your devices from any kind of electrical surges now think if your utility power is available but with much fluctuation and even the run time of the battery the backup is also finished now this ups can still act as a voltage regulator while you plug into this surge only socket at the bottom protecting your devices from the voltage fluctuation in your utility power how useful right now one good thing is the manual contains all the audible and visual indicators letting the user know what exactly is the condition of the ups and if there is some issue what are the troubleshooting methods to be followed so that there is no panic of not knowing what is happening to the ups unit so if you detect any error that is continuously there for long time you can easily contact the customer care of apc by schneider electric support and the details are given on even the ups unit and you can find even on the ups unit box the service agent would visit your location to resolve the issue and yes under the warranty period all these repairs are for free now let's test this ups on my pc oh wait we forgot this cute little button here this is thermal circuit breaker which you need to press to reset in case the unit trips off due to any overload condition yes all set so now i have connected the ups to utility power let's test it on my system did you see that as soon as the utility power is switched on the status indicating led went green which means my battery is getting charged let me switch on my ups so as soon as i switched on my system started up this is mains mode let's check cold start capability on battery mode i switched off the monitor let me switch off the ups and mains too let's see how fast and seamless my system starts up with only ups switching back my mains because my battery is already drained the only peculiar thing that i observe is the slight buzzing sound from running fan even after i switch off my ups but overall i would say this is a really good ups with nice backup time of 50 minutes that to in this economical price and i would so strongly suggest Sweden.